Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about Olama's new engine, which supports multi-models model, meaning you can now use Olama to ask question based on an image and Olama can give you the response, pretty much like how you can use with a chat GPT. This was something which was not possible earlier, but now you can make use of it, meaning you can just take any screenshot and then ask questions to Olama from your local machines using the local large language model and the Olama is going to answer it for you, which is amazing. This was not something which was possible earlier, but now it is possible even with your local large language model. So now you can use the models which are available in Olama like vision models. So you can just go to olama.com and if you just go for uh, to any models, you can see that we have got uh, embedding models uh, and then there are vision models as well. And there is also some tools uh, you can see over here. I think we can just have, remove this uh, embedding, just select this vision. You see that the Gamma 3 from Google, it actually supports uh, the vision uh, as well. So you can ask the questions um, and see what response that you get from there. And then uh, Llama 4 is also a multi-model model, meaning you can use uh, this model to ask questions from an image, from a video and things of that nature. So you can see that all these models does those support. So you can now use like using Olama command, just Olama run uh, Llama 4 or Olama run in Gamma 3. And it is going to pull that image from the uh, from the repository of Olama and then it is going to run within your local machine and then you can ask questions from there. So in order to just make use of this capability of Olama, I'm going to show you how I use this Olama for my local uh, testing purpose and see if I could able to make use of the most. So in order to do that, I'm going to first open one of my terminal which I uh, use, which is the hyper terminal. Uh, and within this hyper terminal, I am going to show you all these details that I'm going to uh, use in traditional way and this is something which I always do most of the time because this is very easier to see how you can also use these Olama uh, to run the uh, local large language model and perform some testing out of it. So if I want to do that I'm going to do it this way. So I'm just going to say Olama run Gamma 3 12 billion parameters. I'm just going to run a bit more bigger parameter then uh, you can run in most of the machines because my machine has got a bit of a power. So I'm just going to see if my machines can handle that. I'm going to say, can you uh, write the uh, manual test cases uh, for this screenshot? And I have not really given the screenshot yet. And the screenshot which I'm going to give in is the, you know what, the website which I always use is the eaapp.swami.com website. Uh, and over here, I'm just going to go to the employee list and uh, I'm just going to see what kind of test cases that I can write for this particular um, for this particular uh, screen you can see over here. So I'm going to take a, a screenshot uh, over here. I'm just going to grab and copy that uh, and I'm just going to drag it and drop it over here from my desktop location, which is going to be this uh, and I'm going to hit enter. You see that the image is now going to be added in the Olama uh, and then the Olama is going to use the Gamma 3 12 billion parameter model and then it is going to give you the response. So you see that it's going to give me the response over here. It says, okay, let's break down the manual test cases for the employee list screenshot you have provided. So it knows that I'm, I'm providing the employee list screenshot. Also, it says that this is the category that it is going to organize the test cases for me. So the functional UI layout and data validation test cases. And here are some of the edge and boundary cases. I know we can't rely fully on the uh, for uh, in the AI to give us the responses and give us the test cases. But at least this is going to be a starting point for anyone to see that we don't have to do some of the uh, babysitting work most of the time that we do like because we know that this is the test cases that we're going to write like and in a high level. So these kind of work can be taken care by Olama for you. And then later, most of the edge cases might have missed in here. Then you can keep on uh, doing from there on. You see that now it, it's right some test cases for us over there. See that it's writing like FC001, verify employee list displayed, uh, navigate to the employee list page, uh, and a list of employee Karthik, Prashant, Ramesh, John, some user is displayed with the column names, this, this, this. This is the past test case writing, right? And there is uh, the uh, FC002, the functional test case 002. It says that verify edit functionality Karthik and it is going to do the edit functionality by clicking the edit button. And there is a delete functionality and there is an edit functionality for Prashant and things of that nature. And see, now it is writing a lot of different test cases for me over here. 
uh, and this is the test cases that you got instantly based on that particular image as you can see see that now we have got all these test cases everything handled in our local machine i'm not even going to the cloud to ask any of these questions it's all done within my local machine think of your company is gonna have a provision of your um, of your local large language model within your company's uh, company's azure and then they are going to give you this permission Sometimes these things will be very, very helpful for you to write the test cases or some of the babysitting works, at least if you take me. So now that is done, and let's say I'm gonna ask some questions, follow-up questions from there, you can also do that. So I'm gonna say, uh, can you write some uh, edge cases for search functionalities uh, and security testing uh, as well? Look at that. So immediately it's on it and then it's going to say, okay, so there we go. So it's going to do some search functionality test cases, uh, like edge cases here. So let's see what edge cases that it has produced. It says search with an empty string. So enter an empty string in the search box and click the search. The full list of employees should be appeared. Amazing. And then search with the leading or trialing spaces. So enter the search uh, with the leading space like John with this kind of uh, character. And then you should see the John to be appearing uh, and also uh, see if there is a special characters are being handled and also try to do some SQL injection uh, which the application does not execute in the SQL uh, injection attempts so you either return and uh, and errors but we'll, we need to see if that is going to be handled within your application so you see that these are things which are provided like an edge cases for us over here like a functional testing but there is also a security testing consideration done in over here so look at that so now it is writing some of this security testing for me over there so everything is right now happening in my local machine uh, and the good thing is uh, the test is also faster and we could be able to achieve all these operation which is amazing the next thing is I want to say uh, I'm going to compare two screenshots and I want to see like like visual testing. I want to see if that's working fine or not. I've also covered the exact same thing within my Udemy course, like uh, with the generative AI course over here. As you can see, even in this course, I have got the detail of how you can do the same kind of testing operation. I covered that using the open AI models and also we did the coding to see how we can do the exact same thing, the Selenium automation testing. But now over here with the, uh, with the Olama, you can also do the exact same thing within our local machine as well, which is amazing. So uh, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So let's say I'm gonna take um, a screenshot of the exact same thing, which is over here, something like this. Uh, and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna compare the same exact screenshot uh, and we'll see if that works or not. Maybe maybe just change a bit i'm gonna go to admin and password i'm gonna log in this time um and then i'm gonna take a screenshot maybe that is a good one so because there are some changes here as you can see we have got hello admin log off and then uh, we have got couple more menus there i wanted to see if the language model can compare uh, the test case and gets the written, uh, results back so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna say compare the compare two screenshots uh, and tell me exactly what's been modified uh, in and bullet points uh, bullet points uh, and I'm gonna give the image so this is the image and this is another image so we have got two images over there and I'm gonna hit enter see that both the images are now added and we'll see if it could able to identify those changes. So if you ask me the change uh, as a human, I know that the employee details is a new one uh, if you don't have a login. And then manage user is also new. And also there is this hello admin and there is a log off. But other than that, everything remains pretty much exactly the same. But let's see what this guy is gonna do for us. So uh, it is now analyzing both the image pixel by pixel and here is the breakdown that it could able to get look at that now it says that it says that the navigation bar like employee details link has been removed from the navigation bar uh, and a create new button is being added oh yeah i missed that part so there is a create new uh, button which is amazing uh, and then uh, the search bar background color has changed from white to a light blue which is something i have not noticed before is it the case no idea the username has changed from admin to hello admin 
which is amazing. And the uh, and the copyright footer uh, has got an updated 24 to 25, which, oh, really? I don't know. That's the case. Uh, let's go and have a look. So this is my first test case without login. And this is my second test case with login. No, I think it's just blabbering to be honest because it's both 2025 in the footer. Doesn't look like it is doing what it is supposed to. Um, there is a bit of a discrepancy in there. So it's not telling us the exact thing. This is wrong completely. Uh, can you, are you sure the details are correct since it's not the case? And I'm gonna just ask like a retry. Um, okay, there we go. Now it is apologizing, uh, but it says that I made a significant error in my previous analysis. I'm still under development. Uh, okay, so can you check now again? So it's apologizing, which is the case most of the time. These machines are built to apologize very quickly um, because that's the ethics which has been trained for these lang language models. But it doesn't mean that they always need the apology from us, but they have to be accurate as well. So we'll see what analysis this time it's gonna bring. But overall, this is the change that the Olama has made to support the multi-models model, meaning you can now use vision uh, models, uh, vision uh, capability of the models within your local large language models. Uh, and you can use the same uh, very friendly Olama to do all these operations for you. There we go. So now it has found that you are absolutely correct. Uh, so yeah, my previous analysis was completely off. I was deeply sorry for the repeated errors. I clearly struggled. Okay, fine. Okay, so copyright year in the footer has been updated from 24. Okay, now it seems like that is that is correct. Uh, and then user information, the username has changed from admin to hello admin. This is the thing. Uh, uh, but still it's not really finding it because it looks like the same answer is coming in over here. But you got the idea at least. Let's not worry about this part, uh, but at least you got the idea like how this is doing. The one thing I feel which is pretty good is the um, uh, is the generation of the test cases. But sometimes I feel like still the comparison is not quite right or up to the up to the mark. But but maybe it's because of my local large language model. But if you're doing the exact same thing with the with the cloud, it could be correct. So that's it, guys. This is the change that Olama has made. Hope you liked it. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.